Travis Wilson's season ended with a question mark after damage to an intracranial artery was discovered during a post-concussion scan. Not only was he sidelined for the remainder of 2013, but his football career was in jeopardy. After a recent checkup, the team announced that there's a good chance he'll be able to take the field again in the fall. It's heading down that road. Nothing is for certain at this point in time, but, but uh, the most recent check was uh, very positive. Yeah, he'll be doing essentially what all the other quarterbacks are doing. Uh, we don't ha allow our quarterbacks to be uh, live contact during practice. Rarely is the case when that happens. And so he'll be in, uh, in the same situation as all the other quarterbacks for spring and able to, to uh, take reps, which was a, a big plus for us. He's a big part of our team and played some good football for us last year. And, and, uh, but more than anything else, not the football part, but just knowing that he's uh, in good health and, and progressing. Just after the news of Wilson's possible return, Whittingham announced the addition of yet another quarterback to the Utes roster, as Kendall Thompson will transfer to the U from Oklahoma for his final two years of eligibility. Well, you, you always want to add good players to your program, and uh, we got a lot of good athletes at quarterback, and we know we got a, uh, you know, a couple over our, our quota as far as the what we allot for scholarships, but but uh, you can never be too deep at that position. The Utes are overstocked on quarterbacks right now, but Whittingham is confident that they'll find a place for every one of them on the roster. If everything stays status quo, then there would be seven in the fall uh, with Kendall and Donovan Isom coming in. But uh, like I said, uh, things have a way of working themselves out, and, and uh, there's uh, players in that position who are real fast and real skilled, and so we think that uh, everything will take care of itself. Micah Thomas is one quarterback who could fit into several positions all over the field. He's an exceptionally fast player, and there's probably three or four spots that he could play uh, if it comes to that, but right now he's a quarterback. So after it's all said and done, who will be under center in 2014? Anybody, anybody, anybody and everybody that's in the competition has a chance, and, uh, and, that's what, and it's not just the quarterback position. Every position on the football team is under constant competitive situations. And, and uh, that's just the nature of how we operate. And, and in our opinion, competition brings out the best in everybody. And if you're not willing to compete and uh, you know, go toe to toe with, with uh, the guy that's trying to take your job or the job that you're trying to get, then you're probably in the wrong program. With the likelihood of Travis Wilson's return and an abundance of QBs gunning for the starting job, there's going to be an off season battle at quarterback. According to Coach Whittingham, the position is up for grabs and whoever shines the brightest through spring and summer camp is going to take the field in the fall. I'm Chad Mobley reporting for Newsbreak.